All right, in this lesson, let's continue to learn about the query optimization process. Parsing and binding are the first operations performed when a query is submitted. Parsing makes sure the transact SQL query has a valid syntax and translates the SQL query into an initial tree representation, specifically a tree of logical operators representing the high-level steps required to execute that query. Binding is mostly concerned with name resolution. During the binding operation, SQL Server makes sure that all the objects do exist and associates every table and every column on the parse tree with their corresponding object in the system catalog. The output of the second process is called an algebraized tree, which is then sent to the query optimizer. The next step is the optimization process, which is basically the generation of candidate execution plans and the selection of the best plan according to their costs. In essence, query optimization is a process of mapping the logical query operations expressed in the original tree representation to physical operations, which can be carried out by the execution engine. The end product of the query optimization process is an execution plan, a tree consisting of a number of physical operators which contain the algorithms to be formed by the execution engine. 